All right, in this video, you will learn how to set up a authentication flow in React Native. And uh, I have a project set up already that is running in my system. You can learn how to set up a React Native app, XY app with Native Wind, which is a Tailwind CSS uh, wrapper. Uh, in my first React Native video, go check that out from my channel and uh, you need to install these libraries in order to follow along actually i already coded this i'm just going to explain to you guys it's going to be much easier for me at least and it's it's going to be a shorter video for you as well and you need the react navigation uh, libraries you need expo splash screen and you need the async storage for this so we're going to use the context api for global state management so that we can find out if user is authenticated any place in the app and uh, so let's go create our context first i called it app context and i have an context type which has is authenticated as a boolean and the toggle is authenticated as a function loading boolean and check user function and uh, <clears throat> i have the app provider here i have my states and in the check user function, we are checking if we have a user already authenticated in our system by checking async search. So this is very basic and simple way to set user information to the phone. Um, I would highly recommend you to use uh, some other secure way to use, uh, for example, a token if you are storing or some other things. Uh, an email can be as well but i just uh, said i'm just gonna setting an authenticated uh, value to false or true depending on our current authentication state so in check user i'm uh, getting uh, the authenticate value and these set timeouts are kind of a way of me mimicking the api call you can assume you are doing api call and waiting for api to return a response to you so that's why we have set timeouts in these two functions and if we have a user if we have a value in this uh, get item and this value is equals to true then we are setting those authenticated to true otherwise we are setting to false uh, default default it's undefined and then um, what we have here is we have toggle is authenticated which is self-explanatory um, when we try to toggle it uh, i'm setting the loading state to true in order to you know affect uh, an api call and put a i put a activity indicator to this button so that we can understand that this is loading and some api call is happening in the background uh, if our current authentication state is true then that means we are going to be signing out so that's why we are setting the authenticated value to false in our agent storage otherwise we are setting the true and we have again set timeout here just to mimic the api call and i passed the values here as you can see uh, this is how you can create an uh, global state management system in with context api you can check my react videos to see and get a deep dive in that topic if you want to learn more and if we go to our app so in the expo splash screen library th this library provides us a function which is prevent auto height async so when you do this just above your app function which is the answer point our application uh it's gonna prevent the splash screen to from all the hiding and while this splash screen is visible to user we can do some checks to see if user is really authenticated and get the user data from the api as well so this is very useful for us to you know have this um we don't need this actually here so I have a provider on top of my app. I have navigation containers and I have main. The reason for me having main is it's much easier for me to use the uh, global state variables because if I try to use it in here, I'm going to get the error that I applied in the hook because I was 
I will be trying to use the context, you know, outside outside of the pro provider. So I need to have some kind of a uh, inner component, which is main in this case for me. So if user is authenticated, we're gonna display the app stack. Otherwise, we're gonna display alt stack, and alt stack is where you can put your sign in, sign up, and onboarding screens. And the app stack self-explanatory you can put your application screens here and in the, our folder here we have stacks folder which contains app stack and all stack and uh, i'm going to show you why you need two different stacks i mean this is for me the most logical way and i think this is the best practice to follow and I'll explain it this to you in a minute. Then we have screens here, which I separated with folders again. I have home screen, I have, I have sign in screen. In the sign in screen, I have just one text with tail and CSS, style with tail and CSS, and I have an touchable opacity uh, which triggers toggle is authenticated on press. Uh, if it's loading, it shows the uh, activity indicator. I can show it to you like this in for for example. And I have the sign in text here. And the same thing for home screen. Uh, just the text are different and nothing else. And uh, yes, I already explained to you the flow actually pretty straightforward in the main. We are putting a user fact hook and checking the user if they are authenticated. Let's go to the provider. And in the check user, as you can see, we are setting the authenticated value as I have mentioned previously. And we are hiding splash screen because now we have all the information we need and all the states are, uh, all our states are set. It so we can hide the splash screen so i have a splash screen that i previously built for one of my apps uh, floor ai is an app that that i published in the app store i will put a link down below you can go and check that out if you would like to see so i'm gonna refresh as you can see we have a splash screen it checks the users and to prove you that i can put uh, a log inside the user i can log the user here for example so if i refresh user falls as you can see so it's gonna fall into this section it's gonna set the authenticated to false and if i try to sign in it's gonna toggle this authenticated it's gonna set authenticated to the true here and set the loading false and as you can see our uh, authentication is completed and if, if i try to refresh and reopen the app now the user is true so that it's gonna navigate me directly to the home screen and me using two different stacks here there is the reason for that like i said let's imagine you have a project where you are developing with 10 other developers um in that case having this kind of things is going to be much helpful because also with the help of TypeScript if we try to navigation navigate as you can see this, since we are using the app properly typed uh, with app stack app stack props and native stack screen props it pro it suggests us the the possible screens that we can navigate to in our stack for example if you didn't have the two different stacks uh, there might be a case where user can access like tr try to access other screens where the they can be listed under the home screen here so to avoid that and have a like a single responsibility mentality in our stacks um you can use this logic like i do and yeah actually this is pretty straightforward i'm gonna uh put the github repository as well uh, in the description down below if you want to if you want to check it out you can go and check out and uh thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like yeah take care bye bye mm -hmm.